OK, so let's say M is the midpoint of A and B. A has position vector 4i minus 8j. M has position vector minus 8i plus 17j. Find the coordinates of B. So if we want to really think about what's going on here, A will have coordinates 4 minus 8. OK, so A could be over here. And M has position vector minus 8, 17. So minus 8, 17, somewhere up here. So here's M. So you could potentially just do this as a problem where you're doing this step along and then you're doing this step again to find this coordinate of B that's up there. That's always a possibility for this problem. Okay, So um, 4 to minus 8. I would be doing minus 12, so I'm going to do minus 12 there. So I know that this is going to be minus 20. So minus 8 take away 12. And minus 8 up to 17 is 25. So that's going to be 25. 17 plus 25 uh, is 2242. OK, so B is minus 2042. So you could do it that way. Or you could think of this uh, by thinking, well, OK, so the vector AM is OM minus OA. So that's minus 8 take away 4, so minus 12i. And 17 take away minus 8, so plus 25j. Then to get from A to B is going to be two lots of AM. OK, so AB, oh sorry, the coordinates of B, sorry, not AB. The position vector of B, I can get from the origin to A and then add on AB. So I get from the origin, so uh, somewhere up here, get on to A and then I know how to get from A to B. So that would be, well I've got OA, uh, which is the 4i minus 8j. And then I'm adding on AB, which is two lots of AM. So two lots of the minus 12i plus 25j. So 4i take away 24i is minus 20i. And then minus 8j plus 50 is um, plus 42j. And because we've now found the position vector of OB, I know that the coordinates of B must be minus 20, 42. So that's kind of like your vector method. But really, this problem can be broken down to just you're looking at a coordinate geometry problem.